Greetings everybody. <clears throat> this is going to be kind of a short video, a no frills video to let you kind of uh, know what happened on Halloween. I was going to upload a, uh, a Halloween video on Monday, Halloween, but my editing software went uh, haywire, destroyed the video that I already recorded. Then the uh, editing software froze. I had to turn off my computer. Then my computer kept crashing. So I had all sorts of problems and it destroyed the uh, destroyed the uh, the video that I made for Halloween and all sorts of crap, you know. I, I had a guy uh, take a quick look at it because I thought it might have had something to do with the hard drives that I got because it said I didn't have any more memory but he looked at it you know I brought it over to the to this guy to take a look at it and there's plenty of memory in there so it must have been the uh, editing software that totally screwed everything up made my computer crash and I don't know man gotta get it uh had to continuously shut it off just so that I could get rid of the editing software. It wouldn't go anywhere. It was just frozen on the whole computer. And it was just awful. I got rid of it. That was Corel Video X8. Uh, Somehow I think they must be doing something with that on purpose. So you buy another one, a different one. I don't know. But hey, you know what? I'm going to upload this raw video, it's going to be uh, no frills here because I'm doing this through the Logitech video uh, a webcam. Um, I'm not going to be editing it, so oh, let me show you, you know, this is my, one of my, this is my favorite weird science issue of, uh, out of all the uh, ones that were published by EC Comics. This is Weird Science 18. One reason, of course, is because the cover is uh, Wally Wood, and that's what's inspired the Mars Attack cards. But besides that great story in here by Wally Wood, there's also Al Williamson and Jack Kamen. There's some Al Williamson artwork. Just great stuff great stuff and uh, people's choice <laughs> Joe Orlando people's choice that's a splash page by Joe Orlando and then this last page of the uh, the previous story is by Jack Kamen. Great issue, man. I never get tired of reading this. So, anyway, uh, it was just awful. Just awful. And then I couldn't get my computer started. It wouldn't it wouldn't work. You know, for about uh, almost 30 hours. <laughs> Didn't even work. And it was, uh, I ran a virus check, you know, with uh, using my uh, Nor Norton uh, system. And the other guy that checked it out also did a uh, virus check. There's no viruses or nothing. It's just that uh, what probably caused the computer to crash all the time and then uh, uh, wouldn't start. He thinks it was that the editing software that I use got corrupted or it just, I, I don't know, something happened to it. But I I'm not going to spend hundreds of bucks on editing software. What the hell? But I do want to get something that's good. So if anybody's got suggestions, you know, I know there's free stuff out there. Uh, 
Windows Movie Maker, but you know what bugs me about getting the the free editing software is that it, usually my experience is that it comes a lot with a lot of ads and a lot of other stuff that they put on there and that I just want to avoid. But uh, to make it not a total loss here, let me show you some of the books I just uh, picked up today. Just some of them. I got Deadpool number one. This is uh, not number one. This is uh, number uh, number one now. What they call it, what Marvel calls now, but it's actually Deadpool 21, and it's got a pretty hefty price tag on it, ten bucks, and I don't think it's worth it. The uh, the first story here by um, the artwork, I didn't read it, but by Matteo Lally. Eh, Reasonably, reasonably well executed, but the bulk of the book is uh, this story here. Much Ado About Deadpool. That takes up like 75% of the book, and the artwork here is by, uh, what's his name, Bruno Oliveira? Olive Oliveira. And I don't partic it's not bad, you know, but I don't particularly care for it a great deal. Oops. In many areas it looks kind of rushed. Some areas it looks it's not consistent. It looks better in some on some pages than it does on others. So not sure. There's some more artwork. This doesn't look too bad, but it, it's not a very complicated piece of art for somebody that's an accomplished artist. But anyway, I certainly don't think it's worth $10, man. I mean, you know, $9.99 to be exact. So that's that, but I like that pool. Oh, I pick it up. It's funny. Um, oh, I got uh, some other stuff that you might not know I collect. There's uh, Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose, for mature audiences. This is issue 100, and I got the complete set from one on up with, you know, multiple copies of uh, most of the issues. And here's another issue of 100. This one came with a... Uh, what, do you call, what uh, Jim Ballant likes to call a litho. It's actually, you know, he calls it a litho up there. Limited edition litho. But it's just a print in the back. That's, it's, it's pretty nice. It almost looks like a, a sketch. I mean, a, you know, a, a real sketch. But it's really a print. But it is signed by Jim Ballant. It's his signature. So he uh, signed that. So that's kind of it's kind of nice to have. You know, it reaches 100 finally. Uh, oh, this is Frostbite number one. But I I don't know how that got in there. I got this a while ago. <laughs> um. Oh, Batgirl number four. And I got the other copy of Batgirl number four. Oh, for shame, for shame. I'm so disgusted at seeing this. I think that this cover should be banned. Really, I mean, just look at the way that they have her on the front of this cover with I mean why couldn't her legs be closer together why couldn't her legs be closer together I mean this is it's just disgusting this cover really should be could should be should have been censored or there should be some kind of outrage going on for this cover I have to think that Albuquerque is doing it on the book 
Um, let's see here. Oh, Suicide Squad number five. Oh, I like that cover. <laughs> There's the variant. Or is the other one the variant? I'm not sure now. Jim Lee. Jim Lee did this cover. That's Jim Lee's artwork for sure. Yes, Jim Lee. Uh, and then I got that cover. But I don't know who did the cover. I don't know which is the variant or what. Oh, here's Frostbite. Uh, how did the other one get in here? This is Frostbite number two. This is worth picking up. Um, this is about, uh, for those not familiar with it, it's about, uh, uh, the plot, the storyline is, well, the, the plot of the whole story is a, a, a climate change occurred and the earth is now in another um, ice age. And it's a fight for survival and for this, uh, for these, uh, I don't know, they're, they're, uh, they're uh, somebody invented them that helps uh, uh, create, you know, warmth and heat, these little things, you know, that, so there's always a, a, a search for that. And... I didn't read the second issue yet, but the artwork's looking pretty good. Uh, and I love the story. I don't want to give it a, completely away, but uh, let me show you some of the artwork in here. This is um <laughs> reminds me of that Alpha Flight page right here. See that? That John Byrne did. He was criticized for doing it. <laughs> Getting some, but he did more than one page, I think. In uh Uncanny uh one of the X-Men titles, I can't remember what no, Alpha Flight. <laughs> um It's not bad. I mean, uh, artwork's pretty good here. I like it. It's a pretty tense story. Very tense, dramatic, and sci-fi. Alexander and Williamson. Uh, you know what? Let me tell you what, uh, yeah, Joshua, Joshua Williamson is the writer, and then uh, Jason Sean Alexander does the uh, artwork. I wouldn't be surprised if they, if this thing turned into a, got calls to, to, for a TV project, a television series. But it's only on the second issue, so we gotta see how it goes. Then I got Hillbilly. This is the second uh, printing of number one. And the second printing of number two. But I do have the, uh, the first issues as well. Eric Powell. Who does the goon? Okay, well that that's about it. I told you it was gonna be kind of a shorter video, but um, that's what's been happening. So I don't know. I don't want to continue uploading videos this way. So I might not. It might take me a couple of weeks to to try to get this thing fixed. I might have to rebuild this computer. 
because uh, I'm not going to buy another one. And it's not that hard to rebuild a computer. You know, you just put different drives in. You can put your own RAM in there and uh, put a motherboard in and what have you if you need to. A graphics card and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's what's been happening. That's why I didn't have a Halloween video. And I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, uh, be patient. Uh, I'll get up regular videos again pretty soon, hopefully. But if I, I'm not getting any videos up in the next week or two, you know why. But at any rate, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.